Hey there guys, what's going on? It's the 27th of July today and oh, it's exactly 5pm. I wanted to get this down on video while it's fresh in my mind. It's something that's been happening to me I would say only this last sort of week to 10 days. So I've been having a bit of a nod here on the settee. I sort of put this cushion behind me and I'm sort of I sort of nod off because I'm more comfortable on the settee sat with at this angle instead of lying flat and and I can actually I can actually sleep better believe it or not sitting up because when I'm lying flat my for, for over an hour my back my bottom of my back starts to ache and my, I get this weird buzzing sensation in my legs and my legs get worse and everything but that's that's not what I'm going to talk about today I wanted to get this down on on video um recorded while it's while it started to happen because um it may get worse it may get better it may be absolutely nothing but it's quite significant actually now so i've been sitting here for years kind of i'm all sort of nodding off on the settee because like i say i sleep better here and what started happening just recently is you know that state where you, you're just sort of starting to drift off you're sort of half here and half asleep it's called the, um, the kind of hypnagogic state or hypnagogic state um, just as I'm sort of drifting off I get this sensation where I'm stopping breathing if, if you were to like just stop breathing don't don't try this at home guys and um, don't try it seriously but if you were to just stop breathing you get like a funny sensation in your lungs and you have to start breathing again well just as I'm nodding off this I get this weird sensation like my well my breathing slows down a lot and then I get this sensation where I've I've stopped and what happens is it brings me out of sleep and it it happens nearly every time or it's been happening nearly every time the other day it was really disturbing when it very when i first noticed it was happening it was really disturbing and i was quite concerned and even when i was awake in my waking life i um I, it's almost like i was consciously taking over my breathing so breathing should be a subconscious thing but it's almost like I was scared that my breathing was going to stop and I was consciously breathing every time I felt this strange sensation it's like you know and it really worried me and it, it created quite a lot of anxiety in me so yeah you know and I've just been having a nod now and probably for about an hour actually or over and I woke up and I feel quite a lot better actually mentally recharged um, and it was it was happening for about the first 10 or 15 minutes or perhaps a bit shorter period of time and it, you know I noticed it then not quite so much but but like just to recap you know as I'm nodding off in the half and half state I can wake up several times as as if I'm stopping breathing and that, that's a new thing guys that's new for me that's never happened before you know you know sometimes it makes me think that somebody up there thinks I'm not suffering quite enough and they give me something else you know I don't sleep very well at night anyway I, I sleep terribly I'm up and down all night every night and, and as a consequence, I, I sleep during the day, I nod in the day, you know, I'm so tired. <sighs> God, it, it is an half warm. I mean, it's not quite as warm as um, yesterday. I'm just opening the app on my phone. It's um, 29 degrees. 
Yesterday it got to 32 and currently in my front room it's 28.2 and I'm doing a lot of absolutely nothing. I am struggling to walk from room to room, literally so difficult. I, I'm hoping it's because of my temperature, because I'm warm, um, but, but it's, it's really quite concerning, you know, when you have difficulty just walking from the kitchen to the living room. Um, and I haven't been upstairs or downstairs since, since this morning, since I got up, I'm just not even going to attempt them. Um, it could be something else. I, I was prescribed by my doctor um, a drug called amitriptyline. And, uh, sorry, when I say it could be something else, my walking difficulties at the moment could be something else, could be this amitriptyline, because some time ago I took the amitriptyline one every night for a week to help me sleep at night. I took it at night time. And I seem to recall it had the same effect on my walking. My walking went quite significantly downhill. So I stopped taking it. And, um, excuse me. And when I stopped taking it, my walking seemed to um, recover back to what's normal for me. Now, I've recently started taking it again. I took one last night, one the night before, and my walking has... Uh, I recently started taking it because my sleeping is rubbish. And the, the, a couple of nights ago when I took one, I, I actually had the first decent night's sleep in a while, so I, I took another one. But like I say, now I've had this drop in my walking, so I'm not not really quite sure what's going on. Um, it's with drugs. I find it's, you know, an experiment, and so that's what I'm trying. It. It could be the heat. It could be the drug, you know. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. I thought I'd just get down about this um, this weird sleeping uh, sensation. Um, it's quite disconcerting when you wake up with the sensation that you, 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 you've you stopped breathing. And I know there is a, a... Sorry, I'm flitting backwards and forwards between different subjects, but back to the sleep thing. Um, I know there's like a thing called sleep apnea, um, where when people are falling to sleep they get this sensation in their throat or something I'm not quite sure some of the muscles tighten up in the throat um, and and you know they have to have specialized equipment when they go to sleep but it, I'm pretty damn sure it's nothing like that it's I'm not having a problem breathing it's it's just almost like I stop stop completely and it's 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 so weird so weird and it's never happened to me before, and I'm wondering if it's could possibly be medication, uh, drug-related. You know, you just never know what these these drugs are doing. And I take a well, I don't take a lot, but I take drugs which slow down my. Um, you know, I take pregabalin. I've been taking amitriptyline. Um, I've been taking painkillers, um, and and a lot of these nerve painkillers slow down slow slow down like the electrical impulses in your brain they're basically it's like turning a dimmer switch down on your on your lights you know they just slow things down very very gently and you know you just don't know what else what kind of effect that has on your body on your organs on your body i know that when i was taking a higher dose of amitriptyline i had some seriously horrible side effects which i'm not going to go into now but that was because the yeah, amit sorry, a higher dose of pregabalin. That was because um, some muscles had stopped working um, so efficiently. Um, well, I'll tell you what it was. It was my it was my bladder muscles basically. Uh, the pregabalin had such an effect that it felt like I was going to wet myself which was I didn't but it was horrible and the hospital said yeah that's the MS that's the MS that is no it wasn't it was the pre gabalin too high a dose so I reduced it and I was okay
Right. Well, I think I'm probably about 10 minutes. This only was meant to be like a quick video. So, um, like I say, I just wanted to get down and, and sort of say about this breathing, th this breathing uh, thing. And I'd be very interested if anybody else has had any such a kind of a weird experience just as they're dropping off to sleep. Once, once I'm asleep, I was okay. Well, when it first started happening, I didn't go back to sleep because I was too scared. It was really strange and, and it's been happening now nearly every single time and not off for this sort of last week to 10 days. So, yeah, I just wanted to um, get that out there and uh, see if anybody else has experienced anything similar. Well, I hope you're all coping in this in in these intense temperatures. I know that here in the UK it's running 29, 30. It's been hotter, but uh, I know it's hotter in other countries. So, well, that's it for this one. I will bid you farewell. Until next time. Bye for now.